obviously quite excited, very happy. This is the first time that Magellanon fossils are officially described from Canada, so that was pretty exciting as a Canadian. A McGill University student's curiosity with fossilized shark teeth has led to confirmation that at one point in time, one of the world's largest prehistoric predators swam in Canadian waters. Louis-Philippe Bateman's fascination led to the first megalodon discovery in Canada, marking new insights into ancient marine ecosystems. I know the general public is quite excited about it because probably it is after all the largest predator to have ever existed but to me it just feels like normally contributing to the body of scientific knowledge that we've been accumulating for for hundreds of years under the mentorship of mcgill university professor hans larsen bateman says he's been fascinated with fossils since he was a child i think he was he was just fascinated that 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 there could be um these these uh these giant sharks um, living in Canada at the time, a it's very exciting because it, it, now now Canada has a megalodon, and also that that is it's really like pushing the northern limits of, of, of where these animals could have could have lived in, if they were living there, right, and living in that thermal tolerance and the size of these animals, what the hell were they eating? And I think it just opens up like many, many more questions. Bateman says eight teeth were analyzed at the Canadian Museum of Nature in Ottawa, many coming from scallop dredgers in Georgia's Bank, Nova Scotia. In terms of scientific questions, there's, there, there's, a, there's a whole world that could be asked here. This discovery definitely drives me on and motivates me to continue doing research, especially on Eastern Canadian fossils, because it turns out that even though our fossil record is fairly well known. Um, it hasn't really been worked on in the past um, 100 or 200 years to the same extent that it used to be. Bateman says Montrealers can breathe a collective sigh of relief that these animals are no longer present in waters. Well, it's definitely extinct. Um, there's, I, I know there have been a couple of Discovery Channel documentaries that have come out um, seeking the megalodon in in oceans around the world, but we have very good fossil evidence that it's been gone for at the very least 500,000 years, if not um, about 2.5 million years. The two say this opportunity opens many doors in migration and research, bringing them one step closer in understanding the prehistoric past. A lot of people say to follow your dreams, and I think to a certain extent that is good advice. I think when you have a goal in mind and it really is important for you, um, well, you should go ahead and try and accomplish it. In Montreal, Dahosturi Hansteer, City News.